welcome to Inside South Florida. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great having you. What experience has taught you about being prepared? Unfortunately, it's the difference between people that have good outcomes and people that don't. Uh, you know, from all the storms we see in Florida to disasters across the country, uh, just taking the steps to, to get prepared, have a plan, know what you're going to do uh, are keys to being able to get through these disasters. I couldn't agree with you more. What is something that every household should have available? Well, you know, we've always talked about having a plan and getting your supplies. Um, but we kind of left emergency power as an option. Uh, I don't think it's really an option for people anymore. It's, you got more and more people that are dependent upon medical devices, you know, power mobility devices like electric wheelchairs, or have medications that require refrigeration. We're seeing in these storms widespread and long duration power outages. And having emergency power, I think, is something we should be considering in everybody's plans. And with new technology, we're moving away from only having you know, gas generators, things like that as an option. With new technology that comes from companies like Jackery, we now have these battery powered units that can provide power for, you know, hours to days. And with solar power, operate indefinitely providing, you know, critical emergency power to keep your devices up, but also keep you in contact uh, with information and, and uh, keeping your essential devices charged. That's amazing that it is solar powered. Now, can you share a recommendation for homeowners? Yeah, for homeowners, I mean, you start with the basic when you talk about plants. And, and a big one is, and it's a hard one in Florida these days, but a lot of other places as well, insurance checkups and making sure you're covered. Uh, also consider adding flood insurance to your policies. And then look at what do you need in your home to stay up and running uh, during a you know power outages. And I think that's where, you know, these new battery units that you can add solar panels to uh, give you that flexibility to keep things like your refrigerator and freezer up and running, keep medical devices charged, but also uh, you know, give you that ability and flexibility that when you're home, you're not having to go out and get a bunch of stuff because you're set. And the, also another big advantage of these units are they're portable. So you know, historically for people that lived in apartments and such, they really didn't have options of emergency power. Now they do. And even those that live in evacuation zones, you can take this power with you. These are very portable units that you can you know, build in your kit. If you have to evacuate, you take it with you because you may find where you went lost power as well in some of these big storms. Excellent. What about any suggestions for staying connected before, during, and after a winter storm? Yeah, before the storm gets there, charge everything up. Have, your, have everything ready to go and add a portable radio to your kit because when you get these widespread power outages, it's not uncommon, other systems go down, and the only way you may be able to get information is over radio. And during the storm, stay tuned to your local officials. That's your best source of information in disasters. Uh, your local broadcasters are going to carry that information. Uh, and then after the storm, after the event is over, uh, especially if you haven't been able to get hold of anybody, as soon as you can, just let people know you're okay. Uh, it's, it's sometimes the little things that just being able to let people know you're okay when they couldn't get hold of you for several days, uh, that's, a, that's a key part of, of helping everybody understand you're okay or if you have needs. Excellent. Well, wrapping up, are there any other suggestions that people should consider when dealing with emergencies? Well, again, I think you really got to look at emergency power. Um, you know, with the new, new technologies and the ability to have something that you can run in your home, you can't do that with a gas generator and you know, avoids having to go and get gas, you know, get in those lines and deal with all that. Uh, but having emergency power is the difference when the lights go out, you still have lights on. And so for more information, you can go to jackery.com and look at the various options that there are for emergency power, including the latest device to 5000 plus, which is really designed to provide a lot more household appliance support. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Inside South Florida and showing our ISF viewers on how to stay connected during winter storms or any type of emergencies. Thanks for having me.